Go ahead, open up Photoshop. Import the image of your choice. Um, as soon as you import it, make this layer an actual layer so that it's unlocked and you can play around with it. Create frame animation. Create four frames, or three, or five, or ten, or however many you want. Make sure this loops forever. Make sure the interval is zero. And then go to each different separate frame and slightly move the GIF in whatever direction. So in this frame, I'm going to make it, uh, sorry, I'm going to go exactly one little stroke here and upward, and that's it. In the next frame, I'm going to go left and upward. Next frame, I'm going to go down and that way. You can do whatever you want. I'm just doing this because it's uh, it usually works for me. And as you can see, in each of the frames that are not the first one, a little bit of the background shows. So what you want to do is... Actually, what I should have done originally... Sorry, because this is a really big image. No, you know, screw it. I won't do it. I won't do it. Okay. So go to image... Uh, what I was going to do is I was going to reduce the image size because it's like 3,000 pixels by 1,800. But what you want to do is that you want to go to image, canvas size, and I like to use percentage and make the uh, sorry the canvas smaller so that the little white blimps over there don't show so the canvas is gonna be 98% of how big it was which is a reasonable amount as you can see now in all the other images it's it slightly moves but um it doesn't actually like you don't see the background and of course I haven't cut off any important things so you're gonna hit play and I don't know if you guys can see. Of course, it doesn't look very well because you know this is a ma this is a really big image, and I'm using Open Broadcaster software, so it's kind of laggy. So once you're done doing that, um, what you do is you go save as. You actually export it as a video. The reason why you're gonna export it, uh, render it as a video, sorry, is because if you put zero intervals, if you put a, if you have a zero second interval, which is ideal for a vibrating gif, you can't have a, an interval at all. Um, what's gonna happen is that your web browser is gonna automatically put one and the and the image is gonna come out really choppy It's gonna be like it's not gonna be a vibrating gif like you want this entire thing to loop in about like a quarter of a second And it's not gonna do that So what you have to do is that you have to actually render this as a video and this is the easiest way to do it You can of course you can fix yourself by by you know doing weird interval stuff But I, my easiest way you can do it is just to hit file, you know uh, render as a video render it um, there you go, boom, video's done. I probably should save this, but I'm not going to. Um, sorry. Uh, open the video that you just rendered. And then go export. Uh, sorry, I'm um, safe for web. There we go, sorry. Safe for web, alright. And as you can see, this is 3,260 pixels by 1834 pixels, which makes it a massive 11.6 megabytes GIF, which we don't need it to be that big. Hell, we don't even need it to be 720p. You could have it about like 400 pixels by like 300 or whatever. And in looping options, make sure this is forever because, again, you want your GIF to actually play forever. So you hit forever. See, right now it's just like 1.9 megabytes, which is like 2 megabytes, which is nothing. And then save. Lord and Savior. And minimize this. Here it is. Spin it up to my second monitor. And there it is. As you can see, just a tiny, a very, very tiny change. Like I just, I slightly moved it in each direction so then it's, it's not vibrating very uh, hard, I guess you could say. And that is how you make a vibrating gift.